So you want to know what the downsides are to moving to Chattanooga, Tennessee. Chattanooga has a lot to offer from its vibrant art scenes and beautiful natural landscapes, but like any city, it's not without its challenges. In this video, we're going to explore some of the facts that might give someone pause when considering to move to Chattanooga. From the socioeconomic climate to the political landscape, from the state public services to the environmental factors. How do I know so much about Chattanooga? I work for the number one real estate team in the country. If you wanna learn everything about living in Chattanooga and its surrounding areas, make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell notification so you'll be notified about the current real estate market trends in Chattanooga. We love hearing from you every day through calls, texts, and emails. No matter if your move is early or late, we're always here to make it great. So sit back, relax, and join us as we embark on this journey to discover about life in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Let's get started. Natural disasters. Chattanooga, like many places, experiences its share of natural events. For instance, it has a moderate risk of earthquakes, but don't worry too much about this because there hasn't been a severe earthquake since the early 1800s. So while it's good to be prepared, it's not something that happens frequently. The city also has a very high risk of tornadoes. In fact, one of the tornadoes that hit Chattanooga was an EF3 with winds of 145 miles per hour. But here's a silver lining. Events like this often bring communities together. Neighbors help neighbors and whole communities work together to rebuild and recover. It's a testament to the strength, resilience, and family atmosphere present in Chattanooga. Flooding can also occur in Tennessee. Chattanooga is no exception. While flooding can be challenging, it also highlights the importance of good city planning and infrastructure. Severe storms and straight line winds have also been recorded in Tennessee. These events can be quite dramatic, but there's something awe-inspiring about the power of nature. And there's nothing quite like the clean, fresh air after a big storm. Income and poverty. The average household income in Chattanooga is around 77,250. That's pretty decent figure, right? It means that many residents are earning a comfortable income. But like any city, Chattanooga also faces challenges. Around 17.59% of the population lives below the poverty level. While this number might seem high, it's not the whole story. Many cities across the US and the world face similar issues, and often these challenges lead to increased efforts and improved conditions and reduced poverty. In fact, having a higher poverty rate can sometimes mean that the city is more attuned to its needs of its less fortunate residents. It can lead to a stronger community program, more resources for low-income individuals and families, and a greater awareness of empathy among residents. So while Chattanooga, like any city, has its economic challenges, it's also a place of resilience and community spirit. Allergies. Firstly, Chattanooga is home to the Chattanooga Allergy Clinic, a leading allergy practice in the area. They have over 40 years of experience and provide innovative allergies, asthma, and immunology care. Now let's talk about the current allergy conditions. According to the Weather Channel, the pollen count in Chattanooga can vary. For instance, tree pollen is currently low, grass pollen is moderate, and ragweed is high. These levels can change based on weather conditions and other factors like rain. AccuWeather also provides a tree pollen allergen forecast for Chattanooga. They suggest that during peak season for tree pollen, it's best to keep your windows and doors closed, especially on windy days. Avoid outdoor activities in the early morning. And showering and changing clothes after coming indoors can also help. Remember, if you're experiencing allergy symptoms, it's always a good idea to consult with a healthcare professional. They can provide you with the best advice and treatment options for your specific needs. Conservative political culture. Chattanooga is known for its predominantly Republican state and local government. Efforts to lower taxes on residents, regulate gun laws, and the highly religious areas. In terms of voting patterns, Chattanooga leans conservative. In the last six presidential elections, the city has predominantly voted for the Republican candidate. However, it's worth noting that Chattanooga also has a significant number of Democratic voters compared to the other nearby cities. The city's conservative leanings are also reflected in its tax laws. Chattanooga, like a handful of other states, does not pay an income tax. Instead, taxes at the county level and at times the city level are increased to account for necessary expenditures. This approach aligns with conservative ideals that encourage less money given to the government due to increased tax on 
corporations. Despite its conservative leanings, Chattanooga doesn't really have a strong inclination towards either end of the political spectrum when compared to a national averages. It's politically just barely more democratic, while its basket of goods mostly favors Republican ideology. Traffic congestion. Like most cities, Chattanooga experiences a heavy flow of traffic during peak hours. Typically between 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. as well as 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. During these times, you might find the roads a bit busy as people commute from one place of work to their home, or vice versa. Although Chattanooga isn't as congested as Los Angeles, it can become slow at times. However, Chattanooga has resources to help residents navigate the traffic. For instance, the Chattanooga Traffic Tracker provides coverage of news, sports, weather, and community events throughout the Chattanooga area. This can be a great tool for planning your commute and avoiding any potential traffic jams. Websites like localconditions.com provide real-time updates on road conditions in Chattanooga. They offer traffic maps to show the flow of traffic in different areas of the city. Red lines indicate heavy traffic flow and yellow-orange lines indicate medium flow. Green lines, of course, normal flow. Remember, one way to avoid clogging roadways is to stay away from the roads during the rush hour when possible. Taking back roads or planning your travel times outside of peak hours can also help rural areas. One of the most noticeable aspects of life in Chattanooga is the peace and quiet. With fewer people around, you can really enjoy the tranquility, but this can also mean fewer opportunities for social interaction. It's a bit of a trade-off but for some, the peace and quiet are totally worth it. Now, if you're a budding entrepreneur, you might find that business opportunities can be a bit limited in rural areas. The crowds aren't as large and the foot traffic isn't as heavy as in the city. But hey, look on the bright side. Less competition means you could really make a name for yourself. While Chattanooga City area does have city amenities, it's also a lot of country areas. Things like shopping centers, restaurants, entertainment venues aren't as plentiful, but then again, who needs a shopping mall when you've got the beauty of nature right at your doorstep? The funny thing about it is Chattanooga actually has the largest shopping mall in Tennessee. Living in rural areas comes with its own unique set of challenges and benefits. It's all about finding what suits your lifestyle and preferences best. State taxes. The state tax in Chattanooga is 9.25%. This includes 7% Tennessee sales tax and 2.25% of Hamilton County sales tax. Now let's discuss some of the pros and cons of this. Starting with the pros, sales tax is a significant portion of revenue for the state and local governments. It helps fund public services like education, healthcare. Plus, since it's a consumption tax, it encourages saving and investment. After all, you only pay sales tax when you spend, not when you save or invest. Now on to the cons. Sales tax is considered regressive, meaning that it takes a larger percentage of income from low income earners than from high income earners. This is because everyone pays the same rate regardless of their income level. Also, sales tax can sometimes discourage spending, especially on big ticket items. But here's the good news. Chattanooga, like a handful of other states, does not pay an income tax. So while you might be paying a bit more at checkout counter, you're not seeing any deductions from your paycheck for state income tax. And don't forget, those big ticket items, Georgia, a state without sales tax, is just a few miles away. While sales tax has its pros and cons, it plays a crucial role in supporting public services that benefit everyone in Chattanooga. Did I miss something? If you can think of any other reasons why you would not move to Chattanooga, leave it in the comments below. But be polite, your comments could help other people trying to move to Tennessee as well. If you're thinking about making a move to Chattanooga, no matter if your move is early or late, we're always here to make it great. So give us a call, shoot us an email, take our moving survey in the links below at this video. We are happy to help you make a smooth transition. Check out our next video on Chattanooga here. And until next time, we hope to see you around town.